Good afternoon, everybody, or good evening, everyone. It's Mike, KD2KOG, part of the technical support staff here at SDRplay.com. Really quick video. I want to showcase the RSP Duo in dual tuner mode. And I use the RSP Duo in dual tuner mode when I'm listening to HF broadcasts, and I'm also interested in decoding signals that are you know, being transmitted while I'm listening to a station that I really want to listen to. So... In the evening, I'm usually listening to Voice of Greece, All India Radio, or Radio New Zealand International, but I still like to decode slow scan TV or we faxes or HFDL signals. And I don't want to have the RSP sitting on a frequency decoding when I really want to listen to a shortwave broadcast station. So I'll put the RSP do in dual tuner mode. And since SDR Uno uh, can basically run two instances that are completely independent of one another, I can pipe the audio to different outputs. So let me let me show you how I do that. I usually launch SDR Uno. Well, I don't usually. I always have to launch SDR Uno. And what I do is in the main panel, I select dual, dual normal. And that's right there. And this is strictly for the RSP Duo. And I'm in dual mode. So let me put my workspace back. And what I do is I go to options, auto layout, and I select master. I then launch another instance of STR Uno because the API is aware that I'm putting the RSP Duo in dual tuner mode and will allow and it will allow a second instance of STR Uno to run. So I launch the second instance, I go into my options and I go to auto layouts and I select slave. So now I have two completely independent instances of SDR Uno running with the RSP Duo. So the first instance, I'll go to settings, I'll go to output, and it's going to my Steinberg. That's going to be the output I use to listen to these shortwave broadcasts. So let me click play. Let me unmute it. And let's zoom out a bit. Make sure we're in SAM mode. And the crackling sound you hear is because here in South Florida, it is a massive thunderstorms right now. So let me mute this. And the second instance of SDR Uno, I'll go to settings, I'll go to out, and I'll pipe that out to my virtual audio cable. And from there, it's going to go into my decoder of choice. So now I'll click play there. Now, in a previous video, I showed you how you can kind of eavesdrop on the virtual audio cable audio. But for the purpose of this video, there's no need to listen to it because I, I know it's going to be piped into my decoder, so I don't want to hear the broadcast that I'm listening to along with the digital signal. So I'm on an HFDL station, and I'm going to launch multi-PSK as soon as I find it, and I'm going to select my virtual audio cable as the input. So let's wait for that to load. And then after that's loaded, I'll unmute this, and we'll see if we can uh, pick up those stations. We'll pick up the HFDL signals and decode it, and we'll listen to the shortwave broadcast. So I will go to Configuration, Configuration Screen. I'll select Audio Input, which is Virtual Audio Cable. That is correct. And i got to go back and select the... Pardon me. i got to go back and select HFDL as the decoding uh, option within Multi-PSK. So just bear with me. Okay, so that's set. Let's go to HFDL, which is here. It's going to launch my DX Atlas to tell me where the planes are coming, so I can minimize that. And let's just double check. Virtual audio cable, that is correct. Sampling rate, that's good. Let me just double check the EX control panel. Looks good. This might be a loopback issue on my end. So let me just take a look here. That is correct. Let me uncheck that.
and we should be decoding, which we are. So as you can see, let me move this. we're listening to a shortwave broadcast on Tuner 1, which is piping the audio out to my sound card. And on Tuner 2, I am piping out the audio from SDR Uno into my decoder, which is multi-PSK. And they're completely independent. Now, you, like I said, you can apply this to just about anything. You can use it for slow scan TV, uh, WeFax signals, uh, anything or two shortwave stations if you like, or anything, anything that you can think of that's within the range of the RSP's uh, tuning capability. So I'm gonna wrap up this video real quick. I just wanted to show it to you and showcase the RSP Duo, and I'll be doing more RSP Duo videos in the future, but just wanna show you how powerful uh, SDR Uno is. Well, not just powerful, but how flexible it is and how powerful the RSP Duo is. So let me let this play for a little bit. We'll uh, see what's decoding. See if we have any planes. There's my QTH. Me parece a mí, yo, yo creo que esto no va por ahí, va por acá, y nosotros los hombres cabezota decimos, no, 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 no. Y cuántas veces metemos la pata por no seguir esa intuición, ese como, como sexto sentido que tiene la mujer, ¿verdad? Que es algo muy Pero especial Pepe, propio del... Si lo tenemos pública. Mm -hmm. Right, and that's basically it. And now, when you're uh, done with this, uh, having the RSP Duo in dual tuner mode, you can close out the slave instance and place the RSP Duo back into normal mode, which would be single here. And then what you would do is click on your workspace and everything is right back to normal. All right, guys, that's it for this video. Thank you very much for watching. Warmest is 73. And that's, like I said, uh, we'll be doing a uh, additional videos with the RSP Duo. And if you guys have any requests, please leave them in the comments. I'll do my best to answer those requests with videos. See you guys in the next one.